Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Get two of each, one to open and one to, to keep sealed in the package because I enjoy the packaging. Yeah, I do. Yeah. This is the little flip racer. Yeah, oh, look how cute it flips up. Yeah, who is this? It doesn't even have the name. I don't know. Airspeed? I'm going to call him, oh, Airport Blast Off Blades. Airport Blast Off Blades. He comes with a little, with a little airport that connects to your bumblebee. Yeah, that's very sweet. The next discoveries are very exciting because I have made them at Home Goods, which I often do not check. But I was compelled to make the drive, and now I have come away with several exciting opportunities. This is still available at the mass retail for $5. I have purchased this at Austin State Job Lot. Yes. This is the Hot Shots Rescue Bots Academy. I believe this is $20 at Target. Very exciting. Something else still available at mass retail is this gigantic Optimus Prime. He is the leader of the Autobots. And he comes with the Ark. And the Ark becomes armor for him. Yeah, it's true. The Spark Armor Optimus Prime was $23.99. Normally this is $50 American. So this was quite defined because I only had one of these. I did not deem it necessary to purchase another one. Not for $50. So for $23.99, Yevol. You got me. This next item is quite curious because it was my understanding that this item was a Walmart exclusive. This is the Rescue Bots Academy 4-pack. It has... Let us see. Vero, Hotshot, Veg, and Hoist. Yeah. Yeah. $24.99. This 4-pack was more expensive than this. Now normally this sells, I believe, for forty dollars in store and still available at Walmart. Deals are out there to be had. Another exciting discovery was this. Now this box is no longer in circulation. However, this figure does come packaged in a new variant box. I believe it's the power of the Allspark box. There are no alterations on the figure, it's only the packaging. So to find this for $15. Quite amazing, yeah, jawohl. Very interesting. This was also found at Ocean Steep Job Blobs for $15. Now this is a bit expensive for $15. However, $15.99 compared to $23.99, it's Unbelievable! Yeah! It is crazy! This is Bumblebee Rock Rescue Team. He comes, I don't know if that's, perhaps that's Leo Kaiser and, and that's the yellow Power Ranger Zord, but they appear to combine. It's quite odd that none of the other characters are actually named on the packaging neither on the front or on the back. Quite curious. Finally, at the Dollar Tree, we have the, I am not sure if I have this Megatron or not. I believe I have, I keep buying these because I am unaware of what I actually have. 
looking over at my shelf, it appears I already have one, which means I think I already have this open. So, for $10, okay. And finally, at Target, I have procured myself the Earth Rise Star Screen. Yeah. And a second. Want to open? Want to keep in the package? Which one will it be? Will it be this one or this one? Let's compare. Oh, instantly I can see it would be this one that I will open because it has a ding in the corner. Yeah, V will keep you in the box. That is your fate. You exist to stay in the box. We will not cut the tape on you, my friend. Nine. V will cut the tape on this. And finally, in my special little bag of tricks. Sound the barrier. I have seen someone online take eight different sound barriers and unite them into a space bridge. Very interesting. Oh, what is it? Was it the ground bridge? Let us cut the tape. We have a knife. What is interesting about these packaging, it, they are very hard to store because they are not square. It reminds me of the Armada predicament. The Armada predicament is trying to pack your Armada figures so that they are not damaged in transit. I believe this will also present the same problem. Safety gloves are no longer required. Included with this star screen is a piece. This is a piece of a star map. You must cut it out and assemble it with the other star maps available with your other toys. Yeah. It gives you an incentive to purchase the other toys. And it comes with a red little Dakota. Yavol, these are magnificent. Not as exciting as the ones I had when I was a small children. But still, very exciting. You take the red Dakota and you put it over here. And it will reveal symbols. Well, maybe it's not that exciting. But, nice try. I must give them credit for trying. Once again, there is no bio to tell me about this character. And the robot mode is quite similar to the Siege robot mode. <sighs> However, this will be a nice upgrade to my Generations star screen. Let's just see here. Yes. Van... Van Twister? Is that all there is? Can we remove him? There we are. There was nothing necessary to cut. Perhaps next time, my little friend. Perhaps next time. All star screens should be this size. Yeah, this is a Voyager size. Or as I like to call it, Deluxe Beast Wars size. This was $30. However, the deluxe piece was only nine ninety nine. My have have times changed or what? Well, we have successfully cut the tape. Next week, we will have a very exciting episode. Many people do not know this, but. I happen to own memorabilia from one of the Transformer movies, and 
I will be sharing that memorabilia with you. So, join us next week for Cut the Tape. Hi, my name is Casey Alvarez. Today, we're doing another reel called Cut the Tape. And I'm going to open this LOL slap bracelet. Daddy's already in the camera. Rick Alvarez. Casey, what can you tell us about that bracelet? It's one that um, has a surprise. There's a blind box inside of it yeah. with a surprise. So what, what comes with the bracelet? Does it have instructions? I think this is an eraser. An eraser, okay. I know how you put this on. If it's an eraser, it probably doesn't go on the bracelet. I think so, it's a charm. Alright, so it looks like you can take the charm that's on there off and replace it with that charm. All right, so why don't we show everyone what charm's on there now? All right, what is that? It's an edible kitty. Okay. Don't. And and what's the other one? The speech bubble. And what's the speech bubble say? I perfect. I perfect cuteness. So it looks like it's a little difficult to get on the bracelet, huh? <laughs> Can't do it. Alright, why don't you try it with the other one first? Alright, and uh, let's go ahead and roll up your sleeve so that you can... You should do it on your other arm, because you have a splint on that arm. All right, so roll up your sleeve and see if you can slap that thing on there. Did it work? Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Oh, I think I know where to put this on. See? Right. The loop on. So there's a little loop on the back that needs to come out. There. Man, you're breathing heavy. It must be hard work. All right, let's uh, let's see. Oh, you're gonna put two on at the same time. See if it works. Interesting. All right. Slap that on there. Did it work? Yeah. How does it feel? Is it comfortable? Yes. Is it scratching at all? No. Uh, anything else you want to say about it? No. All right. Why don't you sign off? say thank you thank you for watching this video and click down below if you want to see more videos of cut the tape